What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Realms of Metal. We got another special episode for you guys today. We got Jim from Morbid Saint in the house. Jim, welcome to the show, man. Really appreciate you coming on. Glad to be here, man. Thanks for having me. And uh, before I get into, I, I wanted to ask you like a brief history about the band. But before I do that, you know, I just wanted to ask you about Spectrum of Death real quick. Me, personally, my circle of friends, people I know, they, to this, well, all these years later, they hold that record in such high regard. It's like a cult classic these days. And like, I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about that? And do you agree? Um, how, how I feel, but I, it's, it's, I think, I think it's awesome. Uh, you know, what, what a lot of people don't realize, obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's been a long time, but when, when we released Spectrum, um, we had a hard time selling that album. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't, it, you know, it, it, it's not how people see it now. Um, so we weren't, we weren't too happy with the way it, everything went it, it, at that time. Right. Um, but, but now we're, I mean, we are blown away that, that after all these years, people, people have taken to it the way, you know, and like you said, it's like a cult following and it really, is. and, um, I, 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 I were very appreciative that, um, you know, to have an album that we made when we were young and just, you know, full of energy and, and, it's, it's and so, we had nothing else to do at that time. It's so angry. It's so in your face. The guitars, <laughs> the drums, the vocals, like they're off the fucking chain. Like they're just angry as hell. And like it just it res resonated with me as a kid and it still does to this day. Like it's just an angry record. It's off the off the hook, man. So and it and, and, and maybe and maybe, you know, cause cause that's how it was recording it and writing it. Um and and maybe it just took maybe the reason it wasn't popular back then is not a lot of other people felt that way. I, I, I don't know. Um, but now maybe it's it or over time it, it's it's caught on with people who 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 can uh can relate to the aggression and and um it uh, it's and like I said it, it's still mind boggling to us that after, you know something we did so long ago now is like people like it. It's gotta um, feel it, great. It's great. Right? It, it's gotta awesome. feel great. It's awesome. Like I as a kid I bought it based on the album cover because looking at the album cover it reminded me of like Eddie, you know, <laughs> so anything like that yeah. I I ate right up, you know, just like a lot of other guy uh, kids did at the time, you know, so yeah. <laughs> so, and and that the, the whole Eddie thing has been a I think on the internet for a long time, you know, people always comment on that. Yeah. You know, and, and that wasn't intentional. And it's we, it, it's not a rip off. It just it just reminds me of that, you know, it's just Right. Well, it, you know, and it, and it we even seen it as that, but but we didn't have at that time, you know, things happened quick and they're like, you know, here's the artwork for the album. Okay. Uh, you know, and we knew it, but it's, you know, it's going out and this is it. And that that's what it is. And yeah, I, and yeah but I on, think a lot of that, you know, go ahead. That was on a label called Avanzada Records, which was a Mexican label. Like, how'd you end up with those guys? We got hooked up with Avanzada through Eric Greif. I'm sure you know Eric. He uh, he produced and mixed the record, right? Yes, and he was also the manager at the time of death. Okay. Um, he has since passed. I uh, yeah. Uh, a few yep. years back, and um, he was the one we got hooked up through the, with Avanzada through him. Okay. After the, after the recording and stuff like that. So how how Eric got hooked up with him, I <laughs> yeah. no idea. Yeah. So take us a, a brief history, you know, uh, 84, 85, the band is just getting formed. Take us up to where, you know, Pat joins the band and up to, up to spectrum. Um, he, uh, yeah, we, re we formed a band technically, I think. Oh, yeah, I, you're close. 83, 84. Okay. Um, we played covers mostly at the time. Uh, a lot of Slayer, Exodus, Whiplash, um, Creator, you know, Metallica, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we slowly progressed into to writing some of our own music. And 
at one point we had we had another singer actually before Pat. Um his name was Bob Sinjakovic. And he um he helped he had a lot to do with writing Spectrum, not not the entire album. We had some songs written before that, but he had a, he had a lot of input into that album. Um, and we were scheduled to go in and record uh, Spectrum, and it just didn't work. We kind of separated ways. Yeah. But we had already scheduled it, and we knew Pat. He was actually a drummer for another band that we knew, and he sang, and we liked the way we he sang. We you know we we knew he could they were doing like metal church and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we knew he could, he, he would, he could adjust to fit. We thought, um, so we got him real or like three or four weeks before we went into the studio okay, to record the album. He came in and gave him the lyrics and told him, you know, he'd try to, you know, he'd do what he was doing. And we're like, do this, you know, and now you got to sound pissed off, you know, just kind of gave him a little, little pointers and everything. And, and he went in and, and, uh, yeah, he did a great job. I, I think he destroyed his voice recording it, but <laughs> he, did really, he <laughs> um, did a great job. He, yeah, you know, it, it turned out well. You know, and and we only recorded the album. I think it took us four days to record no that kidding. album. Yeah, yeah, it's so when you're. I don't know how the hell he sings Damien so fast. Like to this day, I fucking can't sing Damien <laughs> that fast. I get like tongue tied when I try to sing it when it's on. But uh, great yeah. record, top to bottom. Every song is 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 legendary on that. So. Uh, I mean, congratulations on that record, man. So appreciate that. So after Spectrum, Destruction System, it was going to get released and it got held up. And, you know, what was the deal with that? Like it, it ended up releasing it as like an eight song demo, if I if I if I recall right. Um, Destruction, we went in and recorded ourselves uh, in a, a small studio. And we recorded four of the songs. So the demo is an eight song demo but it's it's the same four songs on both sides of the tape okay uh so that was just something we we just wanted to record it um and it, and uh, and I'm vague on some of this so uh at some point we had written an, a little while later we had written enough to make it a full length album and so we got a hold of uh Eric again we went in to uh wave it was it when we originally recorded recorded spectrum the studio was called opus and then it changed to wave digital so we went in and we recorded it and we never finished it it was it was not finished okay. it, it to this day it's not, it's not finished um there was issues with the in the band internally at the time um and just just a lot of things kind of just culminated at the same time so we never ab- were able to finish um it got leaked out somehow we don't know years later um we didn't that was not us not intentional and uh so the only i guess official release of it was what Centrum media did back in was it 16 somewhere 15, around there 2016, 15 maybe i think somewhere around there yeah yep. you probably know more than i yeah yep. uh, <laughs> um so that's the only official release of it, but it's still, like I said, it's been doctored up the best they could. Right. Uh, but it, but it's, it's not, it's, it's not the album we set out to record. I, I still think it that. sounds pretty good. Now, High Roller Records, which is the label that you're on now, right? Um, we're we're, we're currently not on a label. We okay. we are working with High Roller Records. We have a we have a we got hooked up with them through century media. Um, and then when we were able to finally, which some people might think is foolish. I don't, I don't know, but um, we, we terminated the deal with Century media finally had a, a, an opportunity to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we ended that, but we continued to work with high rollers. Um, so high roller records uh, was still licensing spectrum and destruction system from us, yep, yep. From us. so um they're the ones that just released it recently with the yeah. new album the new album cover net i picked them both up they, they're they both uh beautifully done i mean the packaging the inserts you know uh there's a poster in each one of them uh they yep, did a really yep. great job great stuff they sound great yep. the vinyl sound great 
yeah, I, th- I, I, we're very happy with high rollers and we'll, we'll get into that later, but we're, we're continuing to work with them now. Yeah. Here's the, for everybody out there, here's the new artwork for uh destruction mm-hmm. system. Really killer. Yep. And, 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 you know, and now, uh, cause I'm, I, I normally I'm, I'm at home right now. Yeah. Normally when I, when the, the few interviews that I've done, um, I'm not at home, but because I am at home, uh, I, I thought I grabbed these cause these are very, very odd. Um, now you're just talking the, the original destruction system, the black tape demo. Um, yeah. this is, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the original drawing that was made for the cover of that. Okay. That's an odd one. Yeah. This one spectrum before spectrum was released as a full length album. We released it as a demo. It was recorded, re-recorded, but we recorded it as a demo called Lock Up Your Children. Okay. I'm sure you know that. Yep. Yep. That. Wow, that's great. That is the original drawing that was used for the cover of our demo tape. I that's, still have this 30 some years awesome. later. Very, very odd. I should have it in a frame yeah. for my own person. It's not like it's worth anything, but um no, I just thought I'd I thought I'd show them to you. I guess I was no, like, oh, it's killer. You know, it's really I have killer. these things and nobody's yeah. ever seen it. So <laughs> oh. um so the the new stuff that you're working on now, uh Swallowed by Hell, I've I've listened to. It's on YouTube, it's on your on your channel, your YouTube channel, Pine Tuxedo. Two killer tracks. I love uh just the title, Swallowed by Hell. I think that's fucking killer. Uh <laughs> both songs are great. Uh thanks. Is that uh do you have more than that for the new record? Uh, more more than the two tracks? Yeah, it's it's uh we recorded 10 brand new songs. Yeah. <clears throat> um we uh sorry. <laughs> it, we had a real hard time picking singles to release off this album because and I, and I don't I don't want to sound that way, but but there's like Every song on the album is just, it's relentless. And it, it, it so there's not a, there's, I hope people feel the same way, but there's not a bad song on this album. I was hoping you were going to um, say that, you know, it really was. <laughs> we we wanted to release the title track. Um, Pint Tuxedo, it, it just felt like a good second, second one. Yep. Um, we're going to release, we're going to release probably two more. Uh, it's, it's going to take, a while to to get the album released we are we are working with high roller records Mm -hmm. um we signed a distribution deal with them so we morbid saint retains the rights to our music um we lost that for a long time so we don't we're not going to do that again yeah so we we signed a distribution deal with high roller records because they've they've been great to us uh they do quality work we we feel um so we're going to continue to work with them. They're going to be the ones releasing it worldwide. We're also going to be able to have it the opportunity to sell it on our website. When we right. get it, we'll sell that shows. Yeah. Um, but the album, um, yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it's still, I mean, we're, you know, we're in our mid to late fifties now yeah. Yeah. and it's, it's still just as fast, if not faster than some of it is than, than spectrum. Really? And and that a lot of that comes. We have a young drummer, yep. DJ Bogomil. He he's freaking phenomenal, um, and he's young. He's in his mid thirties. You know, right. you always got to have a young drummer. You right. know, we, now, the they, rest of us we can get old. <laughs> now he, you got DJ, and then you got Bob Zabel on bass. Bob Zabel, yep. Zabel, okay. Yep, Zabel, yep. Yes, Bob. And Bob's been. I've been out of the band for a long time. Um, but Jay Visser, the other guitar player, the other yep. original guitar player, mm-hmm. he's kept it going. Um, and he he got Bob early on when he put the band back together. And we've known Bob. I've known Bob since back in the Morbid Saint days, early days. So he's been around Sheboygan a long time. Um, he's phenomenal bass player. And, 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 I, and I think you can hear on the two tracks that we've released, Swallowed by Hell and Pine Tuxedo, um, I think we really we pushed to the to, to have the sound of this album um have a certain level of emphasis on the bass right because he adds he adds so many melodies and things in there that just you know we didn't want to cover them up 
like a lot of thrash is really guitar oriented. We and we understand that, but we didn't want to. We don't want to cover him up and hide what he's right. doing because what he does adds so much to the music. So, it, it, Bob's like I said, Bob's great. Pat, you know, Pat's Pat's older like we are, and you know, and there's always going to be people saying, you know, he can't he can't sing like he did on Spectrum. Well, sounds pretty good I, to me. I wouldn't expect them to. It's thirty years later, yeah. you know. So, but I think Pat's Pat did a great job in the studio. I think is I think he's came out powerful as he could yeah you know? man the two new tracks sound great so what's what's the timetable for getting this release is it going to be like mid next year or maybe earlier than that we hope so um it's it's in right now it's in that the hands of the people that produce the stuff you know and right. and and actually make the physical product uh the last i heard they were saying may which i'm not happy with but um there's a possibility that we could slip, get it in sooner. Okay. Um, so I'm hoping we have, we have a show um, in March down in Houston, Texas at mm -hmm. Hell's Heroes. Okay. Um, we were really pushing for it to be done by that time. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but it, it it's going to be around that time. Okay. I, from, from what I've heard, it should be around that time. And yeah. we're, and we're going to continue. We got, uh, two more, two more singles we're gonna release. Um, one's coming up at the end of uh, October, actually November fourth. That's gonna be our third single. I can, I'll actually tell you the first, pe first one to know. Uh, the name of that song is called "Bleed Them Dry." Okay. Uh, that one will come out on November fourth. And, um, sorry about that. Sure. And then there's, there'll probably be one more before the March show okay. that we release. I'm not going to tell you the name of that one. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> so you've been doing shows. I know you did Milwaukee Metal Fest. How was that? How'd that go? Yeah. Um, that, okay, considering, I mean, considering we got shoved on a real small stage and really, yeah. And um, yeah, it was, it was their first time doing it. You know, J Jasta just took that over. So, yeah. um, it was good though. I mean, it was, we were happy to do it. We were, we were okay with the show. People said it, we weren't happy with the situation playing, you know, when you got, you, you, most of the time you have bad monitors. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of common. Yeah. Um, it, we had horrible monitors there. Yeah. So, so we couldn't hear anything. So, so for us, the experience of playing being our first show back with, this lineup yeah um it, it wasn't the greatest experience but everybody who was out in the crowd said it sounded great you know so that's, that's all it really counts you yeah. know we we puffed through it um and then we just played blades of steel for randy kastner in uh madison wisconsin um that one was great you know yeah. great everything was really good there um so, yeah. it was smaller than metal fest but um still great the crowd that was there was was awesome and uh yeah we're gonna you know we'll, we'll it, move off of that and 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 build on uh a positive <laughs> you know so do, do you have any tour plans even though the record's not out yet like in the works for when the record does drop well one one thing with morbid saint that a lot of people typically ask us that tour um the band's never really toured we've never toured uh you know when when i wasn't in the band and jay had the band going um they went on little you know week or two long you know excursions of playing shows and a couple yeah. weeks over in europe i think they did um, but we've never actually toured and one of the reasons one of the reasons that we don't we've hesitated signing an actual record deal is when you do that, they kind of control what you do. And we don't, we're not, we're not 18, 20 year old kids anymore that just are, you know, we love playing. We want to make music. We love doing what we're doing, but we're, we're at a stage in our lives where we know we're not getting rich off this. Yeah. And we just want to, we want people to enjoy our music and, it's got to be done kind of on our terms. Yeah, I agree. So, 
and we all work, you know, everybody yeah. in this job and, and everybody in this band has jobs. You know, yeah. we work, we're not, we're not sitting, living in a mansion. Like some no, no. people think you're rock stars or something, you know, we're not, you know, people should know that, yeah. but you know, so we work, so it's, it's hard for us to go and tour. Yeah. I'm not saying we're not going to go play some extended, you know, things and go over in over to Europe or other countries, you know, that that's all, that's all open with us, right. but, but it's, it's up to us. It's right. not up to somebody telling us you're going to go do this. Gotcha. That ain't going to happen. So it's like festivals and one-offs whenever you guys have the time to get out there and do the show, you work it out and you go. Correct. You have yeah. to, you have to, we're really, really up on the festivals. We really want to do the, you know, whether we have to drive to them or fly out to them, whatever, we really want to do the festival. We don't, we don't want to play. We're, you know, we don't want to drive around in a, in a RV or whatever to, to play a show for 10 people, some in some bar and some, you know, whatever. I mean, and I'm not saying that those people ain't, ain't good enough for, to have us come and play for them. It, it, it's just, we, it, it's not our lives. Right. You know, we, we, we all have, you know, some of us are married, have kids. Um, so it's, it's, but it's, it, but it's, 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 it's a, it's a good thing for us. We're all the band. Right now, the lineup we have, we we you know the 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 chemistry and the and the, um we all get along real good. It's there's no pressure on on anything. You know you know when you when you start pushing too much with your personal life, that's when you have problems and bands break up and people yep. get pissed off and mm -hmm. and and we we don't want to do that and we're and we're not going to do that. You yeah. know so so touring unless we would agree to sign to a bigger label if they were even interested in us um that would happen but otherwise it'll be pretty much festivals and like i said we may we see us out there doing some stuff we're not i'm not saying we're not going to do that but awesome. <laughs> you know but yeah, i'm excited for it i know everybody out there is excited for the new stuff so so what uh, you personally what's some of your favorite stuff that you like your favorite bands favorite records like what's your go-to stuff jim <laughs> i um I, I like, I, I like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. I like all kinds of music with the exception of 98% of country. I, I, I can't like do that. country. I can't do it, man. And rap. I don't like rap. Yeah. It, it's probably a common thing with metalheads. Um, but I like, I listen to everything when it comes to metal. I, I, I really like Arch Enemy. Arch Enemy is I I I I even with the new singer, the I forget her Alyssa absolutely. Les White yeah, was uh yeah yes yeah um her Angela they, they, I mean I you know a actually one thing I found with Arch Enemy now is with uh, with Alyssa they they almost seem more marketable than they used to be, but but they're still I just I I I just love their their the structure to their songs. Um, the atmosphere that they have, I really like that. Um, so I like I like Arch Enemy a lot. I, I mean, I I still listen to, I, you know, like I said, I'm in my mid fifties, so I grew up learning guitar to Judas Priest and yeah. and Black Sabbath, and you know, right. you see, so still gotta love that stuff, ACDC. Uh -huh. um, but I listen to everything. I, I love a lot of, you know, some of the, some of the new metal. It's getting a little weird for me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, just a little. It's almost I like I like simple music. I, I like something that the first time you hear it, you can grab it. Right. You don't have to listen to it ten times to go. I get what they're doing. Yeah. You know. You know? And, and, and these people are talented. It's amazing nowadays with with uh, social media and stuff that you know you look at it and it's like, my God, there's there's a hundred thousand guitarists on Instagram that that can like play way better than I can. But I think there always has been. You just never had the window to see them like you do now. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I find so, it but, tough but, to get yeah. into new bands as myself. Like, I, I find myself just going back to the stuff I grew up with. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know why, but, like, it, somebody will put something on for me. And it's good, but, like, I, you know, I, it doesn't have any staying power. Like, I don't want to go back and listen to it again. I, I don't know if it's just you know what it is but like i tend to go to the bands right. i grew up with and stay with them so 
Yep. That, that, that's kind of me. And, and I, I'm open to, to everything. I listen to, like I said, I listen to so, I mean, I, I don't even want to tell you some of the stuff I listen to because, yeah, but um, you get inspiration from everywhere. I mean, yeah. Let me tell you. But yeah, there's, I mean, there's some great new bands out there. Um, you know, he got to check out that new Die Humane record, the one that Rick Huno was on um, with uh, Former you, Exodus. I just picked it up. It's really you, good. It's called Die Humane. Die Humane. Okay. Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask you if you did a video on that or not. I was going to, I'm going to review it, but uh, I actually okay. was listening to it today, making notes on it. But I, it's not something that I would normally listen to. Like I, I, I bought it because Rick was involved in it and because I'm a huge Exodus yep. fan. But uh, like, well, it's. Yeah. Like it's a it's it's a piece of art. Like it's all over the place. It's you know, jazzy parts, bluesy parts, industrial parts, um, Pink Floydish parts. Like it's 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 really good. You check it out. That's that's cool. I definitely will. Yeah, that, yeah. And, and that's what I, that's what I like. I I mean I like I like. You know I I still like the tradition traditional thrash. I don't know that we're traditional thrash anymore with the new stuff. I think we are to a point, but, but we've, tr we've evolved and, and, and there's people, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you like the, the, two, the, the two new songs that we released because, I really you know, I, I know we're, we're not going to please everybody, you know, but, but like I said, you know, before people got to understand this is 30 years later from spectrum. And, and I think we're still, we're still moving as fast as I can move. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh man, we're looking forward to the new stuff. And I, you know, I, I, it's going to be great. I, I could tell already by the, by the tracks that we've heard. So like that aside, I, I see your Packer stuff in the background. I, you know, <laughs> sports fans or what? Uh, yeah, I'm actually in my right. I'm in part of my, this part of my bar in my, in our basement. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're big Packer fans. Yeah. They're not doing good this year. I know, you know, but that's okay. okay. How about that's hockey? Okay. You get, you watch hockey at all. I used to really be in the hockey, uh, 20 years ago. Um, and, and it just, you know, hockey doesn't, to me, they don't get the, they don't get the the recognition that, you know, that they, I mean, those guys, you know, you talk about guys on, on, uh, on who play basketball and they run up and down the court all night long. Well, these hockey players, man, these guys, you know, plus they let them fight. And I mean, They're it's tough like, as nails, God. man. So being in Wisconsin, <laughs> who, do you, who do you root for? Do you root for the wild? Do you root for the Blackhawks? I mean, who do you, who, who would be your, your not, <laughs> I'm afraid to even say it. Um, no, when I, when I was in the hockey, um, I, I was <laughs> actually was partial to the flyers no kidding, and the really. Rangers. All right. Just, I don't know why. Hey, I, I don't know. I, I Blackhawks, I black, I can't, they're, they're from Chicago. I can't, it's like, like in the bears, you know, I, I, I can't, can't do it. I'm from New Jersey and I grew up an Islanders fan. So there you go. So <laughs> oh, see, yeah, see, well, see, there you go. I, yeah, I, 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 Packers are the main, you know, we got the Brewers. They do pretty good. I don't follow baseball. Yeah, I'm always yeah. happy. I don't follow basketball either. I just, yeah. But I'm always happy to see any local teams, you know, from Wisconsin do good. I'm happy when yeah. the Bucks, you know, they just won the championship, what, year, last year or the year before? I like remember. that, yeah. Um, so I'm happy for them, but I, 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 I'm not going to be one of those fair weather, you know what I mean? I yeah. like the Packers. I've watched the Packers yeah. my whole life. It's religion out like there, right, them. Packers? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. And uh, like I said, I, I know we're not, we're not, we don't expect much this year. You know? Yeah. But you, you've, Aaron, you've had Aaron your time. Left. You've seen, you know, your, your seat, your team won Super Bowls, you know, so like it's more than, you know, a Jets fan could say. But <laughs> not <good. laughs> you are correct. <laughs> All right. So I, I really appreciate you coming yeah. on. I don't want to take any more of your time. Thank you for doing this. We're so looking forward to the new stuff. I'm sure everybody is out there. Um, so when the new record drops, please come back on. We'll talk about it. And, uh, you know, I, I like I said, I can't thank you enough for doing this. And uh, we're huge fans here. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate your time, Jim. I I, I appreciate the offer. You know, like I said, we'll, I'll, anybody who wants to do an interview, we all, we're more than happy to. Well, some of us are, you know, some guys just don't. I know some talk, guys but, just don't do but it. But I appreciate it. No, me yeah, too. I, I I appreciate it, and and I'm I, like I said, I'm it's 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 still mind boggling that people even care about something we did thirty years ago, you know. Yeah. And, and, and and but I'm but I'm hoping that the new stuff. I I I hope we please the old fans, like you, and 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 I hope we we uh we gain some new ones. 
because it is it is a little bit different. It's more and 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 obviously sound wise, yeah. No band better. stays the same forever. I mean, even Slayer. I mean, it, you know, even Slayer went off the the rail a little bit. You know, so right. Yep. Yeah. You you you. you it's. I mean, you can. <laughs> you just can't. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I I really appreciate it, and and uh, yeah, when it, when the album drops or um, any other time you wanna, um, you wanna wanna talk, have yeah. a thing. We're gonna, you know, we're, yeah. we're you know, we maybe we can hook up down at at like our practice or something, and sure. you can talk to the rest of the band. Absolutely, you know? that'd be that'd be awesome. that would be killer. We'd yeah, love no. it, man. So that'd be awesome. All right, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks for hanging with us on the realms of metal, Jim from Orbit Saint. Thank you, and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Alrighty.